Good boy. Good. A little bit of limp going on. Set. Good. Set. Good boy. Hi, buddy. How are you? You want to go work today a little bit? Here you go. Treats. Good boy. One more. Treats. Good boy. Yo! Welcome back to another one. Ah, a little starling action. Been waiting to uh, find a reason and the best video possible to make the first one with these bad boys. Federal shorty shot shells, inch and three quarter long. They're not two and three quarter, they're one and three quarter. Uh, 1145 feet per second, 15 sixteenth of an ounce. Eight shot. Yeah, check that out. Uh, I found them at Walmart. Found three boxes actually. Oh, and by the way, we have to give old Frederick the joint supplement now. Yeah, I have been for a really long time, but got to do it every single day. He gets two to three of those pills and they are maximum strength. But today, like I said, the shorties, I have not shot them yet. First time ever having them. Three boxes at Walmart. I have never seen them at Walmart. I was like, I absolutely have to get them. Yesterday, me and Bodie went out back and we shot four, shot four starlings. There's a lot moving around right now. So we'll have all evening to hunt, basically up to about seven o'clock. As I'm talking, two flew over right there. Fred, here, let's go. Come on, let's go, man. All right, we're gonna get after it here. If you have not heard, maybe you're new to the channel. I do waterfowl hunts. This is my lodge, Sand Hill Flyway. That door is locked, but I'll take you in there real quick. I know a lot of y'all have seen it. I know, but there's always new people here on the channel. So I want to show them my lodge because I'm proud of my lodge. I'm very proud of it. Uh, we built this here on the channel all together two years ago. Me, Gerald, and you guys. This is where a lot of people come from all across the nation. As you can see from this map, I mean all across the nation to experience central Kansas waterfowl hunting. These are some of the birds that we shoot on a daily basis. If you're interested in booking a hunt here, go to sandhillflyways.com, fill out the inquire to book form, and yours truly will be getting a hold of you. Fathers, sons, bachelor parties, uh, husband, wife, we do it all. You're all welcome. All right, here's what we're working with. I have my Super Black Eagle 3, my prized possession. We're going to start out with uh, the shorties, and if it just can't get it done, then I'm going to move to the two and three quarter shells, just a regular two and three quarter lead load. So let's check these out. I have not even opened them up. <laughs> Bub, do you think that that's going to kill a starling? Yeah. You think so? I think it would go, the starling's right here and it will go Boom! Right on it. What the? Wow, check that out. That is absolutely tiny. I wonder how many pellets are actually even in that little thing. I've never seen these before. I've never held them before. I've definitely never shot them. Let's see if we can touch something with them. So before we get going here, look how small that is <laughs> to that chamber. It's laid in there. Okay. Okay. Watch. <laughs> Those are cool. I've seen one right up in this tree. See if we can get him. Oh, right here. Uh, not starlings. Definitely not starlings. Hi, buddy. You gotta stay behind daddy the whole time, okay? Good job, Fred. Heel. Right here. Look, Freddy wants... Yep, Freddy wants to hunt. I think I'm gonna come up here. You guys wanna ride your quads a little bit? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna sit right underneath this shade tree. The thing about these little itty bitty shorty loads is I don't think they're gonna be very loud. I have never shot them, so. A lot of you have been, ooh, that was not a sterling. A lot of you have been really curious about these shorty shells, so have I. So I've definitely seen four starlings in just a few minutes, but they've all been way out of range, especially for this small, small shot shell. Looking good though, 
good number of birds flying around. One of the reasons why we have so many starlings, there's a good group of trees here and we're in the sand and we have these big high wires that run through our county. And the birds kind of like to stage on it and stay in the trees and kind of just go back and forth. That's what we found, huh? Yeah, buddy. There goes a starling right there, buddy. We missed him. Okay, they're flying on this side a lot more. First dilemma I see is when the first one goes bang, it's probably not gonna have enough umph to reload. Guarantee it. If it proves me otherwise, I would be I'm gonna be very, very surprised. You know all about birds. Because I've been shooting them a while. You gotta know what you're shooting at before you pull the trigger, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. If I go starling hunting then, and if I see it not starling, I'm not gonna shoot it. Yep, it's gotta be a starling. Ooh, he's out there. Oh. Oh. That was out there. There we go. It didn't. Ooh, it flopped a bunch of them around. Look at that. We got two down in there. <laughs> There's empty. And we got one in there. So there we go. Well, at least it went boom. Here's some more starlings, guys. Oh, man, that's a long shot. Oh, same thing. There we go. <laughs> they're cool to shoot. They're not very loud, are they, guys? Yeah. <laughs> they're pretty quiet. Like I said, I wanted to start the video out using them. And if they don't have enough umph, we're going to switch because those two birds with a regular two and three quarter, stoned. Absolutely. All day, every time, stoned. That was only about, I don't know, about 40 yards. Well, those last two shots. Oh, what's this? That is starlings. So I at least want to get one down. That way I can say I did it. And I can save all the rest of them for a pigeon hunt. I really want to use them on a pigeon hunt. I know, there could be a lot of you at home that are like, oh my goodness, I can't believe that he carries a loaded gun around his children. I'm teaching them how to hunt. I'm teaching them where to stay uh, behind me. So I'm always shooting away from them and they're at a safe distance. Um, I'm teaching them gun safety, how to handle your gun. I do it all the time. <laughs> it's what we do here. So uh, if your views are a little different, I'm sorry, but these are ours and we're sticking to them. That was one right there. He was cruising right to us. Wow. Darn it. Are you a starling? You are not. There's, there's a starling. Oh, they're way out there. They're way out there. I think maybe we should go back here, buddy. Because they're crossing back here a bunch. Yeah, let's go back there. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're back out here. We took a small break. Uh, about an hour break. And now uh, it's about 7.10. Sorry, 8.20. We got about 30 minutes till uh, sunset. And so uh, lots of starlings flying over right now. Let's see if we can get one. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo -hoo! First one of the day. Boom! Yes! It did not cycle. We got two in the chamber. Ah, finally. Finally made it happen. Oh, man, that was awesome. All right, there we go. That was a pain in the butt. I don't know why it was stuck so bad. First one down. That was an awesome shot. It was coming right at me. Just got right in front of him. Didn't have to lead him much. But there he is. Check him out. Good adult starling. Look at him. Awesome colors. Really awesome colors right there. Heck yeah. There we go. Barely got the camera on in time. That's the thing about this. I have to turn the camera on when I see him coming, but good adult starling. That's what we're after. Invasive species. And like I said, yesterday with the actual two and three quarter shell, I was able to shoot four in a matter of an hour so it was pretty good first one down um when it when that bird was coming at me i knew that i didn't have to lead it i've been waiting for that shot all day 
when they're coming like head on towards you, you don't have to lead very much. And honestly, that small load, a 15 16 ounce load, reacted pretty normally, right on the button. Smash a thumbs up. Come on, guys. Uh, the off season always is a struggle uh, for views and everything. Obviously, we're a waterfowl hunting channel. Help me get this video to 2,000 likes. I would greatly appreciate it. I got one. I finally got one with the small shell, buddy. Yeah, come look at come look at the starling. Look, that's an adult starling. Look at him. Look at his colors on his back. Look. One. Yeah, look, isn't he pretty? Uh -huh. He's an adult. Let's leave him lay right here. Let's not play with him, okay? He's a nice one. Yeah, he's a good looking one, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Give me Nux. That's my boy. So real quick, we're going to keep this video going for a while. We're going to shoot quite a few starlings. I'll probably keep it going for a few days. I really uh, think that we can make a pile of them almost every evening because uh, there's so many. Now, I came up with an idea and bear with me here. Uh, I want to put huge, huge bird feeders out back by the pond, just in the off season, just to attract. So I looked up best starling attractants and feeders, and turns out it's, it would be pretty easy, um, especially because, sorry, I'm watching the sky still. I don't want to miss a starling. Um, during the summer, they prefer to eat really close to a fresh water source. And when you have a big water source like the pond, boy, they would get used to it in a hurry and they'd love it. And you could just go sit back there every now and then and smash. So I think I'm gonna do it. Make some big homemade, like commercial size uh, feeders on tall poles, uh, big flat platforms where we just put a ton of bird feed up there all the time. Now. When duck and goose season came, we would have to take them down, you know, <clears throat> I'd probably take them down, you know, the end of August or something, just to give a lot of time in between uh, starling hunting out back and and duck and geese, because you can't have feed back there and, and shoot ducks or geese. That is, that is very, very illegal. So, there's a way to do it right. I think we're gonna get one more here. There's a lot of activity. Uh, nope. Those are not starlings, Bubba. When you're looking at them from underneath, they're going to look like that. Like basically, let's put them down on the ground. Just a little fighter jet. See how short their tails are? Chubby, pretty fast. They like to uh, fly in um, you know, groups of two, three by themselves, whatever. But that is a great adult. Real chubby little birds, aren't they, buddy? Thing about starlings, they're invasive. They are destructive. They will push out birds. They will kill birds. They, are, they will eradicate other species of birds because they are so persistent, so dominant, so aggressive natured. They will take over a feeder. They will take over a home of another bird uh, and, and shove them out. So that's why they're an, an invasive species and there's no hunting season on them. It's open all year, you can shoot them whenever. Got him! Let's go get him! Oh, I hope I turn on the camera in time. Oh, <laughs> hold on, buddy, get behind me. <laughs> yeah! I got one more, didn't I? That was a shot with the small... Give me pound dog, dude. Oh, oh, not a starling. <laughs> what do I got? Do I have one more? I got one more in there. Man, that was a heck of a shot. We're gonna have to step that out, buddy, if we can find him. Look for him, he should be black. Look for that black, oh, right there, look. Right there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at that, number two. With the small shells, another great adult. Look how pretty he is, buddy. He's pretty. You gonna carry him for me? Mm -hmm. Alrighty, you're gonna be bird boy. We got one more small shell and the gun. Man, that was a heck of a shot. He landed right here. I pegged him up there. I'm gonna walk this out real quick and look at the yardage on that because, uh, man, that was a long shot. He landed right there, so I shot him in the air, probably right here. All right, I'm gonna get out my maps, uh, my map app, and actually get the exact yardage right here. Alrighty, I'm doing a little line distance test here. 
see how far that was I was standing right there's my shell right there so I had to have been standing right here yeah I've been standing right about here that was 24.7 yards not bad <laughs> that's not very far buddy 20 25 yards 25 nailed them absolutely smoked them I thought it was longer than that so I correct myself on those earlier shots that I missed. They were only about 25 yarders, 30 yarders. Do what, buddy? How do they swallow the animals they eat when they peck at it? Well, they don't eat animals. They still eat grains. So Bodhi just asked, he was like, where's their teeth at? And the thing about starlings is you see how sharp their beaks are. They're extreme. Fill the end of it, how sharp that is, buddy. Put tip of your finger, put put the tip of your finger on there. Careful. Isn't sharp. it sharp? Yeah. It is really, really, really sharp. And if you ever watch a starling uh fight another starling or any other um uh, any other bird, man, they poke. They'll poke an eye out really quickly uh with their beaks. They're um very aggressive animals. Um so and they populate really quickly like pigeons even faster than pigeons really oh there's one dead haha -ha, i'm gonna mark my spot i'm gonna step that out what type of yardage that is well that didn't take long that's good that's good i'll take that found him there he is young starling check him out no color on his back just gray very young all right there is my mark on the ground right there let's see 35 and a half yards not bad boy look at all the rain we got last night again look at all that <laughs> wow well, I think I'm going to hang her up for the day. I've uh, done a lot of shooting, a lot of missing. Uh, we shot, what, four or five all together in the last couple of days. Being out back here. We're not going to a farm. We're not going to a dairy farm. We're not going anywhere where the starlings are in abundance or anything. This is just in my backyard. I'd like to find a, a good spot to go to shoot starlings, uh, but I'm trying. I'm trying. As far as the shorty shotgun shell, inch and three quarter long, not two and three quarter. There was one kid on Instagram, I posted that picture of it uh, compared to the dead starling. And he was like, looks normal to me. And I'm like, dude, how in the world does that look normal at all? But uh, I don't know if I said it at the beginning of the video. Uh, we are booking here at St. Hill Flyaway, my guide service and lodge. Yep, this will be our third season and uh, it's going really well as you can tell up above if you guys want to come check it out all you got to do go down in the description uh hit the book with me hunt with me whatever it says uh down there and that link will take you to sandhillflyways.com that is where you will fill out the inquire to book form you'll put all of your info on there and yours truly will be calling you if you are interested in a duck or goose hunt of a lifetime, three days worth, in fact, Bert's Awesome Cooking, the whole gang here, P. Diddy, Gerald, everyone, fill it out, uh, and then I'll be calling you with prices and information and availability. Thank you to everyone for uh, your interest. Uh, subscribe if you have not. But that was fun. That was fun. The shorty shell. If you guys want me to do the pigeon hunt believe me i'm gonna be out scouting a bunch uh the wheat's getting ready to come off and when it does i can guarantee we will be pigeon hunting and yes i'm, I'm gonna use that shell i think it'd be fun they're honestly way more lethal than i figured but have a good one guys until next time